Yo, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video guys. So today we're actually going to be trying E85 on the F10 guys. You guys can see it right there. Anyways, yeah. So uh, I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. Uh, I do have MHD. MHD supports up to uh, E30 mix on stage 2 plus. That's what I'm on right now. So um, I'm going to do it a little different though. So basically I've been looking for uh, somebody who can do a flame app for me. I finally found someone who can do it. And I actually got the opportunity to get the, the flame app. Plus the E30 mix on top of that, uh, basically for like the same price. Yeah, I actually don't have to buy the MHD E30 map. I'll be getting the E30 map with the flame map. So if that makes any sense, basically I'm getting E30 and I'm getting flames. Uh, so uh, what else do I want? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna be doing that today, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And I'm taking you guys through the whole process. This is gonna be my first time trying E85 on any car. I never even been in a car. Uh, with E85, so I don't really know how it feels. I don't really know how it is, but uh, yeah We're gonna go ahead and try it out and hopefully we feel a big difference from what I've seen and like heard uh, Even just the E30 mix makes a huge difference. So I don't know. We'll find out uh, I'll give you guys my experience and then who knows maybe you guys will do it too But let's get straight into it guys, but basically in today's video. I kind of want to just show you guys like the E85 um, Me finally getting E85 on the car feel, uh, checking it out see how it feels and stuff And I'm actually gonna make a separate video uh, for the flame map, uh, it is together, but I want to make a separate video on like the car actually shooting the flames because I want to get like some cool footage for you guys, or I want to try to at least um, get some cool footage with you guys, maybe like some roller shots and stuff like that. So that's what I want to do. Hopefully, I can actually do it, but uh, yeah, that's why I'm gonna do it the actual flames in a separate video. And uh, yeah, enough of me talking, guys, let's get straight into it. All right guys, so basically uh, it had me uh, pay and then it had me like choose my uh, like my actual car's uh, MHD file and then it kind of shows you like how to do it. And then so now I'm here, it's asking me to select a map that I want. Uh, like I said, I want to do stage 2 plus with the E30 mix. Um, I'm currently on stage 2 plus 91 octane. If I were to click again on stage 2 plus 91 octane, I would stay on stage 2 plus 91 octane but I would get flames. Uh, but I want to just do the stage 2 plus E30. And then I'd be getting flames either way, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. The one I clicked the wrong one. There you go. And then I'm gonna click submit. And there's my tune. So now I have to download it. I'm gonna I'm gonna see right now exactly how you're supposed to do it. But um, yeah, flash a custom map. You guys can see Anthony Uyoa E30 mix. So this is my actual map for my car. Um, but yeah, from here I would just click on it and then. Yeah, I would just flash the map from here. That's all I have to do. Like I said, I'm gonna wait till I get to the actual gas station and then flash it because I did do the E30 and I have, as you guys can see, I don't know why it went up, but I have 12 miles. So by the time I get to the gas station, I have a gas station like 10 minutes from here. By the time I get there, it'll actually be pretty much empty and then I can just do uh, the E30 mix from there. And yeah, so I'll pick up the camera again once we're actually pumping gas, guys. And then uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so I just pumped 85. You guys can see right there. Um, so I did the E30 mix. I think I did it right. I'm not too sure. It's the first time I ever do this. Um, so I used like a E85 calculator app. And I'm pretty sure I did it right. Hopefully I did. And then uh, yeah, we're about to see how it feels. So let's do it guys. I don't really have anyone to hear it record with me. Uh, and I don't have my GoPro with me. So I'm, I'm going to try to record while I drive. Um, but yeah. See how it is. All right, guys. Testing it out now. There's a lot of cops around here, so I'm trying to like be careful. I haven't really uh, stepped on it. I just been kind of like casually driving. I'm gonna try to hop on the freeway right now, and then we'll see how it feels. All right, we're about to hop onto the freeway, and then I'll do a little pull here. See how it feels. Hopefully, it's like a good difference. Maybe not a huge difference, it's just the E30 mix. Alright, uh, you can definitely feel that. Gotta yeah, watch out for the HIDs, guys. It's scary. I don't know if you guys can really see me too good. Maybe I'm trying to light a little more. It 
does feel a lot better, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think it's like a, a huge difference, but it's a very noticeable difference. My brother just told me that he got his car retuned on a um, on a custom tune uh, play map uh, E30 mix. So this is the first time running ethanol in the car. I haven't tried the car yet. He every way he went by himself and um, got the ethanol and stuff. So uh, this is my first drive in the car, and uh, let's see how it goes. Right now we're in the streets of uh, TJ, uh, just testing out the car. Just want to leave that disclosure there. So as you guys can tell, he's pretty excited already. I don't know what to expect yet. Oh, it's supposed to have flames too, so. I won't be able to see that right now, but I'm pretty sure when we start cruising and stuff, um, I'll be able to get some pictures for him. Or he might do it before, we'll, know. we'll see We'll see what he does. About to merge on the freeway right now. Oh shit. Damn, bro, that is crazy. For a fucking for a sedan, bro. This is quick. Is that? Yeah. So I, I had a backstory. I had a Chrysler 300, a 5.7. Nah, this is faster than that. So, have you released the video, the the wheel video yet? Yeah. I'm there. So as you guys seen the the wheel video? Um, he has pretty good tires, guys. Uh, his tires on those wheels are pretty good, and he spun pretty much through all the first. Um, so you can imagine. Everything after, um, sorry guys for the camera. <laughs> Everything, I don't know. That fourth gear pull was good, but once that shit hit fifth, that shit flew. That shit has crazy top end. <laughs> that shit flies. This guy's taking off on like, this guy's taking off on 70. Like 67, this is flying, dude. That's tight. Most guys don't have top end, guys. Second gear. Sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's officially uh, faster than the, the 92. The 92 is pretty fast. Okay, so last cruise we went to, me and my brother raced unexpectedly, and we were pretty like head to head. But uh, yeah, I don't know about that anymore. Until the end of before it gets the 85. Uh, so the 92 gets 485. <laughs> Alright guys, 
guys, it is now the next day. Um, I actually forgot to make the outro yesterday. After I went to go take my brother out for the drive to test it out and stuff, um, we had to do some stuff, and then I forgot to make the outro, so that's why I'm making it today. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the car. Um, sorry if I don't sound like very like excited or anything when I'm like recording. I'm still kind of like getting used to recording in front of like my family and stuff or like just having the camera on in general I still get a little nervous but uh anyways the car actually feels a lot better uh, I don't think it's like a super huge difference like what you would feel if uh, like for example like obviously you would feel a huge difference from a stock to like stage 2 plus but uh, again it was just E30 mix it's not even 485 or anything um, I do plan on running 485 in the near future or maybe not near future because it's a big purchase but in the future uh, with this car, I do plan on uh, upgrading my fuel pumps and stuff so I can uh, run full E85 and get the actual performance gains off of it. But uh, anyways, yeah, um, it was just E30 mix, so it wasn't a huge, huge difference, but you can definitely feel uh, the car it feels a lot better, a lot, a lot quicker. And just, I don't know, I feel like when I'm driving, I feel the car like stronger, if that makes any sense. Anyways, sorry for the wind noise, guys, but you guys can see the car right there. Looking nice. Let me know what you guys think of the wheels. Um, most likely going to change them out. Um, maybe not soon soon, but eventually. Because uh, they're a little bit too wide in the rear. Uh, they're probably going to be a little bit wider in the front also once I actually lower it. Because the back already uh, rubs a bit when I go like through bumps and stuff. So unfortunately, uh, once I do lower it, which I do want to. So I'm, like, I'm going to have to lower it because uh, I want to. Um, it's gonna rub a lot lot more so maybe once it's actually time to lower the car I'll probably try to sell them or something and then we'll get new wheels for it anyways guys I hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up guys don't forget to let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see what you guys want to see get done to the F10 and yeah anything that I can do I will do it uh, someone actually asked for a beam record video so I'm gonna be doing that soon and the flame video guys I actually got a chance to see it last night and it looks so so sick um, it's something I've been wanting to do to my car for a long time and I finally able to do it So look out for that video soon. I'm trying to get some good footage for you guys for that. So yeah, anyways stay tuned for future videos i um, hoping to bring you guys even better content and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out